Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson, Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. Um, I'm going to do a wee demo today of uh, comm sites and some of the functionality based on a few questions I've had recently. Um, a couple of the questions I've been asked about uh, around how page layouts work and how to lay out web parts, um, how they work with the mobile app, and also a little bit of question about could we use Spotify with SharePoint. So I'll try and demonstrate all of those things in this video and uh, hopefully you'll pick up a few tips as we go. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you find this interesting and have a check out my other videos. So comm sites are very similar to uh, team sites except that they don't have the navigation down the side and they're not connected to an office group. Uh, but they're very good for informational sites. This particular site here is just a standard SharePoint comm site and it's connected to a hub. So you'll see that it gets the hub site navigation on the top here. Um, this is from my demo environment. Um, and on the page itself, I've got a news web part and a quick links web part. So let's just go and edit this page and have a look and see what happens. So when I edit the page, you'll see I have both the section editing on the left hand side over here and then the web part editing options here. If we look at the quick links web part, for instance, and select that um, and go and edit the options on this web part, you'll see a few things which I've set. One of the options I've chosen is the tiles option, which gives me these large blocks. And because I'm using images inside them, I've also selected the fill the space option here to fill the entire space with the image. If I have, um, say, the medium option, for example, you'll see that the icon doesn't, eat, it, um, image doesn't fit fully into the box. So fill the space is the option to choose here. Uh, also, if I change my layout to a different type of layout, you'll see I get kind of quite a different appearance. Personally, I like the tiles option with the fill extra space. So, how does the page actually get laid out? Well, the first thing we need to do is create a section. And a section defines whether uh, the type of layout. So if I edit the existing section by clicking onto this little button here, you'll see it gives me the different layout types that I could have. And if I change it around, you'll see it can give me uh, different layouts on the page. Um, in this case here, I've gone one third and then two thirds. What I actually like though is the, is the one third, two thirds, which gives me the uh, V larger section on the left hand side and the smaller section on the right. Now this is really good because it's it's a good layout for having your major content area visible to the user and above the line, above the scroll line uh, with my secondary or supporting content on the right hand side. So that's quite a good um, practice in terms of when you lay your pages out. It's easy for the users and most research around how users work will tell you that this is a good way to lay your page out. However, you might also have a need to have something at the top above this, for example, a, a block of text. So if we just click the wee plus over here and go single column, so now we're going a full width section above my two thirds, one third section. And here I'm going to then go and choose to the web part gallery, add some text, and I'll say welcome to the intranet. Now, um, I might want to do something like format this text, so center it, for example. It's going to let me do that. Uh, and I might want to change the font size. Let's so bump that up a bit to something larger. Heading one. And center. Um, now that's the web part itself, but I also might want to change the section. So I can actually style the section by clicking the section styling here. And one of the options here is this background color. So that'll give me a blue background on my section here. That color comes from the site theme. So if you change the site theme color, then you'll get different options for the colors here. And you'll see it looks something like this when I republish the page. Now, um, <clears throat> what, I may, what, I, what I've got a problem now is that if I'm actually accessing this page on my mobile phone using the SharePoint mobile app, um, then what happens is the web part order, that uh, the order in which the web parts appear is this section here and then the sections left and down and then this one over here. So on the mobile app I'll see the welcome to the internet, then I'll see the news and then below that I'll see this web part here. If in this section here I also had another web part sitting below the news, so within the same section, for example um, putting in so another block of text in here, then this block of text will appear below the news but before these icons on the mobile app. So it's really important to think about layout. So what I can also, what I'll do there is delete that particular item out. So what if, so when you think about the mobile app and how the layouts work, it's good to break up into sections. 
Now you might have the sections in the wrong order and want to move this down. So what you can do is actually with a section, um, uh, with a web part, you can move the web parts around. So I could move this web part over to here, for instance. Um, or pop that web part back into this zone um, and actually move that whole section below. So I'm just going to move that section down and you'll see that I can drop that, drag and drop that below the section that I was in and then say, um, and then republish and now you'll see that this web part, the web part order is different. So now on the mobile app I would have the news web part, then the quick links web part, then the welcome to the internet web part. Um, a couple of other things that you might not be aware of with uh, comm sites. One of the things that you can do here with the page itself is you can um, click through into a news article. So in this case here I've got a, a news page. When I click into my news page, it's going to work for me. It's not going to work for me. For some reason my mouse isn't working. Always the way. Um, what I'll do instead is I'm going to click over to here and you'll see as I hover over the, um, the Microsoft Cloud Show uh, item. I'm just going to edit that uh, with, uh, that particular item and just show you a couple of quick things on there. How to get Spotify into the into your SharePoint site. So the first thing is you go to you go to Spotify, you search for the content that you want from Spotify and grab the URL from the top of the page. Take that URL, you create a new quick link, add the link in, select the icon type that you want and save. Now on the mobile app on your phone if you have the Spotify app installed, clicking that button will open the Spotify app and take you directly to that playlist link or podcast link or music link, whichever, whatever it is that you've linked to. Um, so it makes it really easy, it's a nice experience for the user and great for uh, people that have uh, on the run uh, intranets where you want to provide some content that may be voice rather than, um, or audio rather than, uh, rather than text based content. Um, that's a quick run through of the SharePoint um, comm sites. I um, hope you found this interesting. If you have, uh, please subscribe to my channel um, and check out my other videos also around the team site uh, usage and so on.